This video is on testing the halide ions. And our aims for this video are to know how silver nitrate and ammonia can be used to test for halide ions and to know why the silver nitrate must be acidified before it's used in this way. So what I mean by halide ions is the ions of the halogens. So that's fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. Astatine would also be there but we don't really test for that. Um, and the ions, the halide ions, are F minus, Cl minus, Br minus, and I minus, and they form these when they're in solution. So, for example, sodium fluoride will break up into sodium plus an F minus a fluorine fluoride ion when it's put in water. Same for sodium chloride, sodium bromide, and sodium, I sodium iodide. And we can use silver nitrate in order to test for these. So I'm just going to show you that now. I saw you on the bus last week and now I see you every day I saw you in my gaze and then we both looked the other way And now I always leave A gap but you choose to walk right past to the empty seat behind me I wish there weren't so many free so What are you waiting for? I know you don't know and I don't know so What are you waiting for? I know you don't know and I don't know, so what are you waiting for? I know you don't know, and I don't know And we could be waiting the rest of our lives For each other So this is a screenshot from that very exciting video you just watched and you can see that silver nitrate is used um, and when it's added to the three solutions three different precipitates are made. This one here had the chloride ions in. Um, so this would have the chloride ions in and you can see that it makes a white precipitate. So this has chloride ions in and it made a white precipitate and that white precipitate was silver chloride. This middle one had bromide ions in, and you can see that makes a slightly discoloured um, precipitate compared to the white precipitate of the chloride ions. We call that a cream precipitate. So that had bromide ions, and that made a cream precipitate. A precipitate being a insoluble solid that is made when two solutions um, combine and react together, and that is of silver bromide, so that's what the precipitate actually is. And this one here you can see is more yellow, um, and that is the iodide ions. So that's iodide ions, and we make a yellow precipitate. Um, and that yellow precipitate is silver iodide. Now you can see that actually the colours from a distance aren't that dissimilar to each other. Um, so we have to use a second technique in order to just confirm what the halide ions are. And we can use ammonia to do that. We use dilute ammonia and concentrated ammonia to do that. So I'm just going to show you another um, a quick video and show you that in action. Don't wake me up because this dream is better than what real I've seen. My body cannot tell I'm under your spell. I just play out my fantasies in my head. Then I can play things differently from this life that I trust. I look forward to the time when my head hits the pillow it makes. It makes every day seem such a ball. But when the light hits my face and I know I'm not in my place now. That's what snooze is for, so don't wake me up just cause it's morning, oh no, oh don't wake me up just cause the sun's come out to shine, but now you've come along and brighten up what used to be just bridge in between. 
So here's a screenshot from that um, experiment. I'm just going to point out the important things you have to take from this. Um, so first thing is that the dilute ammonia dissolved the silver chloride. So silver chloride, AgCl, dissolves in dilute um, ammonia. However, the silver bromide and the silver chloride did not. So silver bromide and silver iodide do not dissolve or they are insoluble in the dilute ammonia. So this allows you to work out or just to confirm which one is um, which one is the chloride ions because the silver chloride will dissolve in dilute ammonia but the other ones won't. So you have a positive test for the silver chloride which the other two have negative tests for. You could also say that you could see no visible change for these two um, because actually you don't see anything you don't see anything change. So if you're in an exam and you're asked what you see, you just say, see no visible change. I'm standing at the bus stop waiting for my ride. I'm Waiting for something to catch my breath The days are passing me by with all so monotony But until you caught my eye I was happy And now I don't want to go back to my empty Trying way too hard I dream that I'm Falling too far And in my head you're there But I couldn't be further Than the furthest star Away from where you are And now I don't want to go Back to so now we've added concentrated ammonia, you can see that the silver bromide has dissolved now, but the silver iodide still hasn't dissolved. So when we add the concentrated ammonia, the silver iodide, sorry, the silver bromide dissolved in conch ammonia, concentrated ammonia, but it didn't dissolve in the dilute ammonia, it only dissolves in the concentrated ammonia, and the silver iodide still hasn't dissolved. It is insoluble in concentrated or conch ammonia. Now, if you added concentrated ammonia to the dil to the silver chloride, which you'd already dissolve in the dilute ammonia, that would also dissolve the silver chloride. But that's why we do this in this order. We add dilute ammonia first, then concentrated ammonia, because we can see the separate um, silver halide precipitates dissolving in order. Um, and this allows us to distinguish between them if we're not completely sure about them from the colours. So in summary then, to test for halide ions, the first thing you do is add silver nitrate. And that will give you um, a number of different coloured precipitates depending on what you had. If you add fluoride ions, that will give you no precipitate. Now I didn't show you that earlier, but the reason why fluoride ions give you no precipitate is because AGF, silver fluoride, sol is soluble in water and so it wouldn't give you precipitate. So if you knew there was a halide ion in the solution and it gave you no precipitate when you added silver nitrate, you'd know it was the fluoride ion. Chloride ions give you a white precipitate. Bromide ions give you a cream precipitate. And iodide ions give you a yellow precipitate. The next thing you do is add dilute ammonia.
and then the silver chloride precipitate would dissolve because that is soluble in dilute ammonia but the other two would not dissolve so that's this one here and then finally you would add concentrated ammonia and then the silver bromide precipitate would dissolve and that's this middle one here Now sometimes in an exam it will ask you why acidified silver nitrate is used and we use acidified silver nitrate in order to get rid of any ions that may in, um, interfere with the test so for example carbonate ions CO3 2 minus or hydroxide ions OH minus they will interfere with the test in that silver nitrate will react with those to create a precipitate as well so we acidify the silver nitrate so the acid will react with these and get rid of them so that um, the silver nitrate can just react with the halide ions. When we say we acidify it, we, we acidify it with um, nitric acid. The reason why we don't use hydrochloric acid, we do not use that because obviously the chloride ions in the hydrochloric acid will react with the silver nitrate and make a white precipitate. What we do want to use is nitric acid. So that's what we do use because there's nothing in that that will interfere with the test. So, just have a look at some past exam questions on this. Um, so, it says the following pairs of compounds can be distinguished by observing what happens in test tube reactions. For each pair, give a suitable aqueous reagent that could be added separately to each compound to describe what you deserve in each case. So, the first question says um, you've got silver fluoride and sil um, sorry, sodium fluoride and sodium chloride. And so your reagent here would be silver nitrate. Now, with sodium fluoride, no precipitate is made because the silver fluoride that would be made is soluble in water. And if you and so observing this, you'd see no visible change. And that's what you write if you, if nothing would happen in terms of observing it. The observation with so, the sodium chloride would be a white precipitate. And you can write precipitate as just PPT. That will give you the marks for it in the exam. Now, and below, we've got silver chloride and silver iodide that we need to distinguish between. Now, one of these will dissolve in dilute ammonia, and one of them won't. And actually, silver iodide won't dissolve in either dilute or concentrated ammonia, and silver chloride will dissolve in, dissolve in both. So actually, the reagent can be dilute or concentrated ammonia, but you need to make sure you still... Um, say which one you're going to use. So you have to say whether it's dilute or concentrated to get the marks. Observation, observation with silver chloride is that it dissolves and the observation with silver iodide is that there is no visible change because it will not dissolve so you won't see anything happen. Hope that helps. Please email me if you need any more help with this.